Yo, what up, what up? It's your boy Dope King and welcome to Dope King Divinity. This is a channel where we do intuitive messages, channel messages, car pulling and all that shit. Mm -hmm. Happy motherfucking Thursday. If you work this morning, go ahead and get that coin, my nigga. Let's go. Let's get this shit the fuck over with. <laughs> Goddamn, if you don't work today, you know, take care of yourself. Provide some self-care, you know what I mean? Be easy on yourself. Get some rest. Um, Even if you do work today, be easy on yourself, dog. Gotta tell me. I'm <laughs> sorry. I have to tell myself this shit every day. Yes, sir. Goddamn. I already shuffled the cars and cleared the energy, all that other shit. We gonna slide right into this bitch and get right out. I gotta go to work very soon. But um, I did get a little channeling before I do begin. And it is in regards to, um, like, it's pretty much going from the last read and kind of. But, um, yeah, you got people in energy. It was regarding, like, I don't even know if we can call this person a twin or, you know, a divine counterpart or anything like that anymore or this could have been a false flame to begin with this person betrayed the shit out of you um to gain some type of great wealth with your enemies uh probably a karmic on your side or they might have met someone else that ended up being a um karmic in their life that they ended up you know dealing with getting in a relationship with anything like that uh you know everybody's situation is different but basically um They've realized that that plan, whatever the fuck that was, isn't going to work and shit like that. So now they're trying to walk away from all of that and they do want to come back to you. Um, it is true that they were lied to. Most likely had spells placed on them, but this person was also participating in your downfall, like just in general. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much the channel light that I got as I was meditating over the energy this morning before I started the video and shit. Um, so, yeah, uh, we go slide right into this bitch because I, I really, you know, what I mean, we went through, we went over this last read. So, ain't really too much to say except, oh yeah, now like that karma that they were dealing with, and that's another thing. <sighs> so the karma could have been like in your family or some shit like that. Person could have slept with someone in your family, or you know, they could just be in your family and collaborated with this person or whatever but that person wants to reconcile too and they want to act like they want to you know they want like both of these people want to complain to you but they want to take advantage of your heartstrings bro because they know like if anything you had a soft spot for those two individuals bro like you you know how you lead your life these people probably even know how you led your life when they knew you and how you know serious you was about it and you know how you you know interacted with others and you treated these people very, very good. And they tried to take advantage of you. They tried to snake you. Um, and that's just pretty much that, bro. For whatever childish endeavors that, that was supposed to bring them or even childish reasoning because you did nothing to these people. If you had any fallout with the individuals or any bad fallout, you ain't do nothing as a result, bro. You worked on yourself and kept going with life because you understood that you probably did have some type of accountability you know accountability in the situation and you worked on it and you're going to continue to do that and you're going to continue to grow as a person that's like literally the reason why they're doing all this they might not even know but it is what it is bro both of the people are obsessed with you they're both stalking you bro they can't help it because when you do spells on people and they backfire bro that makes you act in that way and if you really think about it like it makes a lot of sense you feel me but both of these people could possibly be going to jail now bro and that's just the facts of the matter bro for the involvement in your downfall, bro. The involvement in your downfall, but um, they did steal from you or one of them did, whatever the case, and they're going to have to come clean because they're facing, you know, a detrimental end in whatever type of way that is. You feel me? And yeah, it's really, yeah. Spirit, what do you want to collect? Oh, I'm so sorry. Good morning, Spirit. <laughs> How you doing? Uh, thank you so much for everything. Thank you, my ancestors, spirit, guys, um, archangels, for keeping us protected. Thank you, universe, for working with us and co-creating with us and keeping us on the right path, moving forward the best way that we can through this life. Uh, please continue to keep us protected. Keep dope. I mean, keep dope. Somebody trying to fuck with me. <laughs> keep Team Dope's collective up, you know and spirits and shit like that so we can get everything done. I ain't gonna make that prayer too long because obviously somebody's trying to mess up my connection right now. Please clear my energy and ground it. Please send all negative energy back without the fold. Thank you. Amen. I'll show you. Let's go. 
Straight, what do you want the club to know this morning? We getting right the fuck in and right the fuck out, bro. I gotta go very soon, bro. Hey, there's too many cards. So what do you want the collective to know this morning? Please give me clear and precise messages for the collective. But please make this a, you know, a clear and precise read so we can get in and get out and not want to do too much. We got the three of swords in the reverse. Looking like vibes ready to me. Um, that represents recovery, forgiveness, moving on, healing from heartache. So that could be the energy of the collective if that's what you're, if that's what you're doing. A lot of us have already moved on. You know what I mean? I've already, you know, understood what was going on in the situation, understood what everything was and, you know, moving forward from it. I feel like that's the energy of it. If you're still struggling, then forgive yourself so you can forgive the individual. You don't have to reach out to nobody. Just forgive yourself and do your thing, bro. And God will show you like that was the best decision for you to do because you can't love someone who don't love themselves or you can't love someone who don't really love you, bro. That's, that's facts. <laughs> you know what I mean? But yeah, this card reminds you to take care of yourself, bro. So continue to do that. And I was, I didn't even get to say anything. Uh, two cards fell on the flu. <sighs> what? <laughs> we have a queen of poles in the reverse with the sun in the reverse coming out. Oh boy. <laughs> the queen of poles in the reverse. Let's get through this shit. Let's go. Uh, the queen of poles in the reverse represents an evil person, bro. This is a whole ass person. Like, they're very promiscuous. They get down with the get down, you know what I mean? Not in a good way. Um, they could participate in spell work, most likely, bro. Um, this is an untidy, unfaithful individual. Let me pull it up. Uh, yeah, they're disorganized. Um, they're unfaithful, selfish. This is someone who's most likely jealous of you. We already understand that they're insecure and they've lost confidence in themselves. Um, then you have the sun and the uh, reverse as well, bro. And that represents um, negativity, depression, sadness, lack of enthusiasm. It's, it's no fun in that person's world. And they're feeling apathetic, bro. No fun in this person's world right now, whoever this is in the reverse. All right. Why are they having no fun spirit? <laughs> Real talk. Clarify the uh clarify the sun in the reverse. Cause this could just be uh not seeing things, you know, for what they are. They don't have any illumination, but we're definitely gonna take it for um that no fun and feeling empathetic. Clarify the sun in the reverse. Why are they feeling empathetic? because of a knight of feathers and the upright and we have the six of swords in the upright as well um so they're feeling apathetic because we have a knight of feathers here um the knight of feathers in the upright that's like a rebel i mean a rebel i'm sorry uh that's a clever person and they're on a mission that's a single-minded person could be a double s um sword though someone that fights for a cause they use brain over brawn they're an intelligent person and they take action um could be impulsive but they defend their beliefs. Um, this is a focused, quick to learn type of individual and they take decisive action. Um, then you have the six of swords in the upright. The six of swords in the upright represents hope. This is moving on. This is possible travel, um, feeling mentally better, making small improvements. This is a transition, um, leaving love behind. Um, you, this person could be tired and worn out from the situation period. Um, so they could be moving on from that situation in general. Um, this card tells you to relax. So we have someone that's clearly like on some type of mission. They done packed the, you know what I mean? They in the whip or whatever little chariot they got going on right there. And they're navigating, trying to, they're single-minded about something, about moving on. But this does represent hope. So this person has some type of hope for something. And I guess they're making small improvements in their life so that's why this person is having no fun and they're feeling apathetic and you know and you know stupid um her energy of the queen of pose in the reverse and then we'll get to this knight of feathers her energy of the queen of pose in the reverse spirit her energy of the queen of pose in the reverse you give me clear and precise messages and not too many goddamn cards <laughs> They do pull a good ass story, but I'm, um, you know, trying to 
crunch for time right now, low key. Current energy of the queen of pose is the fate and the upright. Ten ten. Oh Lord. Fate and the upright is uh, Scorpio energy. You could be dealing with a Scorpio in this situation. Not saying that this queen of pose. I mean, they could have Scorpio on the chart. They also could have Aries, Leo, Aquarius. I mean, what the fuck? Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Yo, somebody's trying to fuck with me this morning, bro. But yeah, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, they could predominantly have that in the chart somewhere. Or um, they could be, you know, one of those signs or whatever. They could have Scorpio in their chart. Or you just could be dealing with a Scorpio in this situation. But fate is at play here. And then... Um, but this is the death card, bro. The current energy for this person is <clears throat> in the upright. That's change, transformation, transition, and metamorphosis. Uh, this is the end of a cycle, and this represents beginnings, bro. So we gonna clarify that because this person could be in the period of change and transformation, but this could just be, you know, fate happening to this person or death happening to this person, bro. You feel me? I'm gonna be real. So we're gonna clarify that. I can't even get that there. I can't even. Yeah, I ain't. These shit, this shit coming out crazy. Um, fate. Clarifying fate is the two of cups in the upright, the three of pentacles in the reverse, and the page of jump in the upright. So we have the page of jump first that I'm going to read. Uh, the page of jump, that could be like a younger person. This could be in regards to a child, bro. Um, so we gonna leave that there though, or just like a younger individual. But this represent in the upright, that's ambition, desire, diligence, the start of a journey, inspiration, dream big but realistic is what this card tells you. As you can see, like they're younger, they going on their little journey, but they got their little shit packed up. They ready to go, ready to go. You know what I mean? Um, and that's pretty much what that is. This person, um, probably this Knight of Feathers is in the page of jump energy. Probably don't have a lot going for themselves right now or, you know, a lot materially, whatever the case. But they're moving on from this queen to pose in reverse. And that's, I guess, pretty much fate or whatever. Uh, I don't know. We have the three of junk in the um, reverse. Three of pentacles in the reverse, bro, rep represents a legal letter, bro. That's lack of teamwork. Feeling disorganized, that's group conflict. That's an imbalance in the money collaboration, a failed project, bro. So they collaborated with this Knight of Feathers and it failed, bro. Like, this is more going from what, you know, the channel wasn't even possibly from the last reading, bro. But I feel like um, that shit didn't go well. Of course, it was an imbalance in that money collaboration. They collaborated for money. Uh, then we have... The two of um, cups and upright. Two of cups and upright represents a soul connection, bro. That's a, uh, this is my twin flame card. I ain't go, you know what I mean? I ain't go flex with y'all. Um, but remember, I was just speaking of that false flame shit. We just go out to get into the story a little bit more. But yeah, this is support from a partner. This is deepening attraction. This is mutual attraction. This represents unity, harmony, bliss. And it's telling you to nurture the connection. Um, so the way that I'm feeling is uh, the fate for this person is for. Maybe this not a feathers, but they're, you know, in the night. Yeah, the page of jump energy. Um, they're about to go on a new journey and, you know, move away from this person, you know, the queen of pose in reverse. And they could be going towards a soul connection, a spiritual connection that they feel for someone. Most likely the collective, bro. Like, I, I got to start there, bro, because it is what it is. Oh, yeah, please. Hey, yo, can y'all please... If you if you like it, you resonate with this shit, bro. Can you please like um and subscribe, shit like that, bro? Cause they're trying to shadow ban my shit, bro. You know what I mean? They keep taking away my views and shit. They don't want me to get an algorithm because I'm I'm spitting facts, bro. Um, so yeah, bro. It might be the way I speak. Might be anything. I don't give a fuck, bro. You know what I mean? If y'all want to see more of these videos and shit like that, um, yeah, bro. If you want more people to get help, cause that's all I'm trying to do is help people, bro. Like this shit goes very deep. You know what I mean? So I'm just trying to illuminate things to y'all because Tarot has helped me in my life get things illuminated to me. So yeah, that's that, y'all. But yeah, so this page of junk energy, Knight of Feathers energy, they want to go towards most likely the collective, everything like that. They feel like they have a deep soul connection with that person. They feel like that person could possibly be their twin. Shit like that. 
anything like that. You feel me? But it's a uh, with this shit, they had a money collaboration, bro. They collaborated for some type of money, and that shit failed. It was a failed project, bro. So what we're gonna do is figure out what the fuck that project was. What the fuck was that? You feel me? What was that? Because it's going, you know what I mean? Give us more clarity on everything. You know? So, uh, yeah, clarify the three of, um, there we go. Clarifying the three of fucking, um, the three of junk in the reverse, which was the failed project, that failed collaboration, everything like that. Right, yeah. Yeah, it's a possible legal letter though, bro. So take that as you may. But it's group conflict, you know what I mean? So they could be going through some type of group conflict as well, though. Yeah, you know I mean, um, but yeah, lack of teamwork, all that shit. That's an imbalance in a failed project. We got that. So yeah, nine, the nine of pentacles. I mean, I'm so sorry, y'all. <laughs> the nine of cups in the reverse, bro. Clarifying that failed project. Um, that the nine of cups in the reverse, bro. It's a uh, lack of inner joy. There was a smugness, dissatisfaction. Um, the card tells you not to worry about the haters, but that, I mean, I feel like it was, it's just um, dissatisfaction and that shit. Lack of inner joy within all of that. That doesn't really, yeah. Clarify that, please, Spirit. Clarify that. Clarify the nine of uh, cups in the reverse, please. Get in and out, spirit. I really gotta go soon. I gotta get dressed, man. I ain't even dressed yet. We got the eight of um, pentacles in the reverse to clarify that. The eight of pentacles in the reverse. That's lack of passion, feeling uninspired, feeling non motivated. That's perfectionism. Um, that's over critiquing yourself. That's losing sight of the big picture. It still doesn't. <laughs> Spirit, what was the failed collaboration? Fuck that. You telling me the feelings that they're feeling regarding that. I don't need that. Um, what was the failed collaboration? What did they collaborate to do? We're not doing all of that. Spirit, what did they collaborate to do? Spirit, what did they collaborate to do? Yes, sir. We got this, though. We have the Queen of um, Swords in the reverse, and then we have the Ten of Wands in the upright. I mean, in the reverse. I'm so sorry, y'all. My bad. Queen of Swords in the reverse, bro. Um, that represents an evil ass person, bro. They do spells on people, bro. Um, they spy on people, so that's that. Um, this could be a word of those divorced women, the other women in most cases. Um, this is a cold hearted, cruel um, individual, bro. Uh, they, this is telling you to approach others with tact and passion. Um, but this person is a bitter, volatile, ferocious person, bro. They cause conflict and they're cutting with their words. Um, I'm going to pull the energy on this person real quick because this could be in regards to the collective and they wanted you in the in the reverse, you feel me? But I'm about to, uh, what's the current energy of the Queen of Feathers in the reverse? Even before I get into that, matter of fact, yeah, let me, my fault, y'all, moving too fast. The Ten of Poles in the reverse represents debt, feeling weighed down, inability to delegate shit, um, overstressed, burnt out, having a heavy heart. And um, this card tells you to ask for help. So basically they wanted this Queen of Feathers in the reverse asking for help, um, in debt, feeling weighed down and shit. I'm having the inability to delegate. Like, like I said, bro, they probably wanted this queen of feathers. Pro like, this per person probably is an upright person, bro, but they wanted this person in the reverse. That was the collaboration to get this person in the reverse so that they could go into debt and feel weighed down and shit because you can't create and, you know, co-create in a bad energy. Current energy of the queen of feathers in the reverse. So we can figure out if this is even the collective because I'm pretty sure, you know what I mean? But they're not in the reverse. Current energy of the Queen of Feathers in reverse. But they collaborated to put this person in debt, bro. To feel weighed down. 
that was that. And that was, but that's what I'm saying. That's a money collaboration. How the fuck does that work? You feel me, bro? You feel me, bro? The current energy of the Queen of Feathers in the reverse, bro. It's the Queen of Cups in the upright. That's what I'm saying, bro. Queen of Cups in the upright. Queen of Junk in the upright. Straight, bro. Yeah, you got me fucked up. Then we got, we also have the dancers in the upright. We got the moon in the upright. And then we have the uh, four of pentacles in the reverse. So we just go, <sighs> this person's really in the upright. They wanted this person to go in the reverse. We already got that. So I'm just gonna turn the collective in the, in the right place. This is Empress energy. We got three out of the four people in the, uh, well, three of the four queens in the deck pop in right here. The only reason the Queen of Poles isn't, you know, in the energy of the collective is because it already came out in the reverse for that individual. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, so we gonna put the collective where they go. You know what I mean? Um, I don't really feel like it's a need to read what these, uh, you know, what the Queen of Cups is. This is, fuck it. Uh, just could be a male or female. Take it as it resonate. I'm a male. I'm a male feminine, bro. We get this shit done. You know what I mean? Balance of energy, bro. But yes, this is a good mother and father figure. They're an emotional, dependable type of individual. They're good, listen to air. They're compassionate, calm, comforting, bro. Great nurturer. Insightful advice giver, bro. This is a creative, well-liked individual. Uh, also, in the uh, Queen of John Upright Energy, once again, a great motherly type of individual, bro. You could be a mother, like, you know, everything like that, and you're a great mother, bro. Um, this is a practical, warm, dependable, once again, person. They're a home lover, bro. They, have, like, they use practicality. They're very practical in their decisions. This is financial security. Um, like, they're a comforting creature, bro. Great nurture. We just said that they want for nothing because they're grateful for everything. You got me fucked up. Yes. Um, they're comfortable and generous. So, this, you know what I mean? Collective energy. This is what the collective really is, but they really tried to paint this picture out or really put this person in the energy of the reverse. That's what was going on. And it was to get this person in the um, Ten of Swords energy to get them in debt. I mean, Ten of Wands, I said Ten of Swords, I'm sorry, yeah, Ten of Wands, to put them in debt, had them feeling weighed down, and not being able to delegate over their lives, you feel me? Um, that's pretty much that, but yes, also, um, clarifying the energy of the Queen of Cups, you know what I mean, the collective, I'm gonna say, the dancers as well, and the upright. So you could be in a relationship with somebody, you could be in a good connection with somebody currently, bro, you feel me, and that's, that's what's up. Yeah, you know I mean, build that love, bro. Um, don't take shit from nobody, but you already know it. Yeah, you know I mean, it's good. This is being perfectly. <clears throat> this is air energy. Could be dealing with a Gemini. You could have it in your chart. You know what I mean? Um, but this is being perfectly in step. You know what I mean? Dancing through life. That's what the energy is. This does represent partnerships, though. Duality. You're very, you know, like I said, balanced in your energies. This is a union card, though. Um, like I said, you could be in a relationship. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Or, you know, dealing with somebody you like. Uh, that's terminal harmony with someone important in your life. Um, you may find yourself at a crossroads, though, so trust your intuition is what this card says. Um, then you got the moon and the upright. The moon and the upright represents... <clears throat> sorry, y'all. That does represent biting the apple. This is an illusion. You know what I mean? Like I just said, they try to create an illusion around this person. Um, but this person's really just dancing through life, you feel me, and loving and shit. But they try to create an illusion around this individual. Um, they probably tried to make this individual bite the apple, but they didn't, you feel me? Um, let me see. Uh, this is telling you that things aren't as they seem, though. You know what I mean? This is telling you, once again, to trust your intuition. Trust your gut, you feel me? Dig deeper into the situation. So that's what I'm saying. Like, that's the energy of this person. That's what they do. Very intuitive individual. 20 vote, 20 vote, <laughs> you know what I mean? So very intuitive, very, you know, on this shit. Um, you can't you can't get over on this person. And you got the four of, um, but they tried to create an illusion around this person, both of these people, you feel me? Um, yeah, four of um, junk in the reverse. That represents um, possessiveness, not compromising, not socializing, guarding resources. This is greediness, stinginess, Frivolous spending, living beyond your means, bro. Um, this is telling you to reevaluate your spending habits. 
So the way that I'm seeing this is, um, yeah, they were being possessive over something and not compromising with this and like with the um, collective um, in regards to something, you feel me? Um, this is, they're regarding resources, both of these people, bro, they were greedy and stingy and living beyond their means and shit. Um, and they try to provide the illusion that this person was not the empress, but what they are. Like, that's just that. So what I'm about to do is uh, clarify the four of pentacles in the reverse. What are they being possessive over? Or what were they being possessive over? What, what were they not compromising with? Or just going with anything else, living beyond their means, borrowing resources and shit. I'm gonna figure that shit out. We got the eight of um, wands in the reverse clarifying that. The eight of wands in the reverse represents worker business problems, bro. Um, stemming from jealousy, though. You know what I mean? So, yeah, cause that. This is panic. This is waiting. This is slowed down, blocked momentum, bro. Uh, this is feeling stuck and um, stalled progress, bro. So that's what um, that pretty much was. They were holding they were holding resources back from you to make you have problems in whatever business endeavors you may have. Um, they were being jealous. Uh, they wanted you to wait for something and feel slowed down. You know what I mean? Block momentum, bro. They tried to block your momentum moving forward for whatever reason. We go clarify the eight of wands in reverse now too. It had something to do with being possessive though. So we go see. So to clarify the four jump in the reverse and the eight of wands in reverse. Please give me clear and precise messages. But we pretty much got the little story. I'm glad it's going pretty fast. It shouldn't be a too long reading. Come on. <laughs> they don't want it to be said, of course. Yes, sir. <clears throat> Clarifying that is the world. In an upright. That's completion of cycles, bright beginning, celebration, a long journey, you know, being completed. This is fulfillment and harmony. So yeah, that's basically that's basically what that is. They didn't want you to have that. They didn't want you to go out into the world. They were being possessive over something, bro. Um probably over you. Yeah, you know I mean, in some way, some shape or form. So they got down, had a plan to stop your progress and stall your progress, bro. That's pretty much how that shit goes. So that you couldn't um, complete cycles with these individuals. Uh, strength in the upright came out, so I'm just feeling like you had the strength to get through that. That's what I really feel like it, it was. Because um, that shit just popped out. But I want to get down to the nitty gritty. Because, alright, near future action, we're gonna get out of here, bro. Nah, fuck it. What were they being possessive over? Yeah, that's what, yeah. What were they guarding? What resources were they guarding? What were they being possessive over? Because I know this shit go deeper. But I keep telling spirit that, well, no, nah, it says completion. It was uh, 28, 28 when I said that that's 10, 10. So definitely completion of cycle. They didn't want you to complete a cycle. Probably with them or, you know, in regards to all of that. Uh, we got the magician in the reverse. So it's definitely dealing with some type of spell work. Um, this queen of poles in reverse could be um, the spell work doer. In this case, that's clarifying fire energy. That this is um, the magician is Aries energy, so you could be dealing with the Aries in this situation. Um, so yes, uh, the magician in the reverse. As I said, that is a conjurer that represents dark magic, bro. Um, this is trickery illusion. So this is the person that caused the illusion, that queen of poles, and um, they caused it to the uh, you know that page of junk energy, knight of feathers energy that wants to move towards the collective now, but. It, both of them collaborated to hold this person back. So that's that. Um, yeah, but this person does the dark magic. Well, both of them could possibly do it, but was, you know, that uh, this represents lack of sin here, lost inner voice, repressed feelings, doubt on self. Uh, oh, no, I'm so sorry. No, that's not. That's I'm so sorry, bro. That's the illusion. That's feeling out of touch with yourself. That's plan is not going well. Sorry. So, yeah, that's that. Then you got the eight of, um, so, I mean, seven. I'm so sorry, bro. I'm telling you, bro. Uh, I'm sorry, y'all. But yeah, so you got the seven of feathers in the upright. The seven of feathers in the upright represents a thief, bro. 
a magician was a thief this person stole. That's what I'm saying. They're being possessive over something that they stole, bro. This person, the magician. I think I just like my, I think it was like, uh, you know, last two videos or whatever like that. Sec if you go on my shit, I'm talking about a witch going, you go down my videos, it's a witch going to jail. This is the witch and they're going to fucking jail. That's what that is because they stole, bro. The seven of swords and outright represents a thief. That's lying, deception, irresponsibility. That's giving bad advice. So they gave bad advice to this, um, you know, the night of feathers paid to jump energy, bro. Uh, they use trickery. This person that's very tactical in a bad way, bro. Um, they use strategy. They're very sneaky, bro. It's telling you not to take things at face value, bro. Which that night of uh, feathers most likely did in regards to that person. But they still, bro, clarify that seven of swords. What do they steal? Spirit, please clarify the Seven of Swords. We have the Chariot in the reverse and the uh, uh, Five of Pentacles in the outright coming out. This could have something to do with a Cancer as well. And it could have something to do with a car's person. Probably could have stole a car from you, bro. They could have put a car in your name, signed some false documents, period, bro. You shit like that, bro. The chariot in the reverse, that represents... <laughs> that shit, because I already knew. But anyways, um, that represents lack of control. That's lack of direction. That represents aggression. That's things not going as planned and feeling stuck. So they wanted you to be stuck, obviously, um, but they stole from you for you to be stuck. Um, the five of pentacles in the upright, of course, you know, that's lost, lost of possessions, job or money, that's needing help, being in destitution, that's difficult times, poverty, insecurity, material scarcity, and struggling with bills, so that's what they were doing. They wanted you to struggle in life, struggle with your bills, um, not be able to, you know, they wanted you to lose shit. And they probably caused you to lose shit. They probably caused you to lose a car, bro. They probably tampered with your vehicle, all that shit. I know from my situation, my shit was tampered with. I got in the head on collision, bro. Supposed to die in that shit. I walked out without a scratch. Thank you, Lord. You know what I mean? Uh, just going in the dirt, you know what I mean? I feel like my story helps other people and shit like that. Because this is a collective thing. And I know, you, well, I know for sure a lot of other people have went through similar situations or even the same situation. And y'all know that too because y'all watch Tarot. So, yeah. So, that's that, bro. Probably caused you to get in an accident. Probably caused you to lose a bunch of shit, bro. But what they, they probably stole a bunch of shit from you. Know? We're going to clarify more. Eight of Cups in the reverse. And that's a tipping point. That's avoidance. That's uh, fear of loss, fear of change, making a hard choice. So, that's what that person's in their energy and their fear and losing whatever the fuck they took. Like, that's the thing. Like, you took. Like, but you still, what did they still? What did they still? Ooh. Ooh. We got the Ace of Feathers in the 3333. Three, three, three. Boy, it's going down. Sixes, bro. It represents uh, like a harmony, bro. That's what's going on, bro. That represents like a harmony. Yep, sure do. I, I, I always got to clarify just to make sure I know for sure. Because I'm only like a month and a half in almost into tarot. You know what I mean? So, boom. Goddamn. Ace of Feathers in the reverse. This person did tell the truth. They lied. That's one. This is the little betrayal. This is what happened. Because that person, this queen of pose in reverse. Aries a little Sagittarius. They definitely betrayed you. Um, strong Aries energy, though. And it, But it could be a female, bro, most likely. Anyways, um, yes. Ace of Feathers in the reverse, they didn't tell the truth. The actual Ace of Feathers in the reverse, that's eh, not bad. We got the Ten of Cups in the upright, so this could be a family member, bro, dealing with family. But the way I'm seeing this, they lied to family. <laughs> like, you, you just, you know, throwing it out there. And they caused the will to go in the reverse for you. But we're going to go deeper into this, of course. So, um, yeah. The Ace of Swords in the reverse, bro, <clears throat> that represents death. 
You know what I mean? They probably tried to get you killed. Like, that's what I'm saying. Like, they, they do magic, bro. They probably did death spells on you, all that shit, or death to your fortune. Shit like that, bro. Like, keep an open mind because these things are real, bro. When you're working so hard and you're just not progressing, bro, and you, you wonder why, bro, it's because of shit like this. And it was three, four, five, six when I said that. So, obviously, that's going forward, bro. That's not what they wanted for you. You, like, just, bro. Anyways, yeah, that's difficult in this confusion, brutality, chaos. Like, they, bro, they try to get you hit. You know what I mean? In the spiritual realm, possibly the physical, bro. It's chaos. They wanted chaos in your life. They wanted you lost in the fucking fall. Or they probably caused this to other people, like, like your family. And so they made you, you know what I mean? Boom. We also have the will of fortune in the reverse. Um, they wanted your will in the reverse, for real. And they probably caused you to go in the reverse, really. This represents no control, clinging to control, so this person was clinging to some type of control. Um, if this is a family situation and you resonate with it, then this was a family member who had some type of control in the past. You know what I mean? And they wanted to keep that control, whatever that is. This is bad luck, feeling helpless. This is complications, feeling overwhelmed. You know what I mean? But this is bad karma, so this person definitely um, caused some type of bad karma. Um, or they could be going through bad karma, but this is pretty much um, going in the way of yeah, we're going with that. Here, we're going to go ahead and understand that. Hold up. Yeah, this is uh, their fear and loss and fear and change and shit because the will is turning in their life um, because they lied to family, most likely. But yes, um, they lied about some type of good fortune, bro. Or, yeah. Um, the Ten of Cups in the Upright is good fortune, contentment, fulfillment, joy, but this is the family card, so I feel like you're just more so speaking with that. Um, this is success, emotional peak, and wishes granted. You know what I mean? So they try to get their wishes granted and stop your wishes from being granted, and it just caused a bunch of bad karma, probably for family. You know what I mean? I'm about to clarify that Ten of Cups. <laughs> clarify the Ten of Cups. It's good. Yeah, please clarify the ten of cups. Clear precise messages, please. Oh uh, yeah, I gotta get the fuck out of here. Uh -huh. All right, bro. <laughs> Clarifying the ten of cups, bro, is the high priestess, bro. Um, what I feel like is. They lied to family about this high priestess. You know what I mean? Um, this is a mysterious, respected, powerful individual. Very intuitive, very conscious person, bro. They listen to their inner voice, perceptive person. Like, they almost are never wrong because they only speak when they know facts. <laughs> uh, they pay attention to gut feelings and shit, you know? That's what's up. But uh, they're, they're more than meets the eye to this person. And that's probably why they were able to lie about these people. I mean, lie to this family. This person stays to themselves, but they just, you know, they know shit, but they keep it, just, they be chilling, bro. Not judging nobody, just doing their thing. And of course, that's the collector's energy. There's more than me out of this person, obviously, but they tried to paint this person out to not be that. And they did it to family, probably to make family walk away from this person and shit like that. Um, but yeah, so well, matter of fact, we go clarify the high priestess with this 10 of cups energy because that's pretty much that. Uh, clarify the high, the high priestess, Ten of Cups. Because, I mean, if it's anything, bro, could, man, fuck it. Car fell on the floor, bro. We got the Seven of Wands in the upright. <clears throat> and of course, bro, like, all right. Seven of Wands in the upright represents being defensive, that's strong belief, standing up for yourself, that's business success, promotion, perseverance, uh, maintaining control, but that does represent competition, rivalry, uh, people being envious of you and, you know, protecting what's yours. So um, I feel like they were uh, damn, and on a, cause I, I didn't even mean to do that. Yeah, I didn't even go, yeah, fuck that. But yeah, so the seven in the upright, bro, but they were probably either being defense. They called the family to be defensive towards this person due to lies and shit like that. Um, but I feel like they just put this person in a place of standing up for themselves against family and shit because they lied to family and they 
cause a lot of bad karma. So maybe the bad karma is this high priest is like not fucking with them niggas no more, bro. Real shit. Um, but yeah, they said that you weren't, you know, you don't persevere with shit. You don't have control, shit like that. But this is definitely saying that people are envious of this high priestess, which is multiple family members and shit. That's what they're saying. Um, in competition and, you know, rivalry with that individual, bro. And they caused that due to lies. Most likely, you feel me? Um, probably got this person, you know, if it is regarding something that they stole, bro, then it was to, you know, it was for that. Uh, it's a feathers in the... Um, Reverse, clarify that spirit. Cause they lied to family to get this person to, you know, had that will of fortune in the uh, reverse, but at the same time, we have the king of pose in the upright. Oh shit, I didn't even see that. <laughs> we have the king of pose in the upright. Aries Leo Sagittarius energy doesn't have to be though. Um, Ace of Pose in the reverse with the tower in the upright. I gotta move this shit, y'all. Sorry. So we know that they didn't want you to go out in the world and uh, be, you know, and follow your endeavors and shit. Um, somebody wants to travel towards you, bro, and they collaborated with that person though to put you in the state of, uh, you know, destitute and shit. But. It, like they told people you were like a queen of swords in reverse you were evil they try they probably said you do spell work and shit blah 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 but it was to cover up the fact that they actually do it um king of pose in the upright ace of wands in the reverse um king of pose in the upright though that is a, a leader you know what i mean a good leader they see the bigger picture this is overcoming challenges a generous person they're spiritual you feel me um this creative person they're entrepreneur wise focused talented individual um they're experienced in life bro and they're a very inspiring person and you know that that could be finishing off this all suits shit like that that person took queen of pose in reverse so this could be king of pose in reverse no matter what your i mean not in the reverse but in the upright no matter what your you know uh gender is But that's literally to say that you are the empress or emperor in this situation. It don't matter, bro. Um, but yeah, but they lied about this person and said that this person was probably doing magic, but they probably did magic on this person and it caused a tower, bro. That's how I'm kind of seeing that. But Asa, uh, Asa pose in the reverse. That represents um, money coming and going. That's lack of energy. That's feeling lethargic. Lack of passion, bro. Boredom. Directionless. You know what I mean? Um, that's feeling uninspired. You feel me? So they wanted this person to feel uninspired. But they lied about that. You know what I mean? They lied about doing the magic on the person to make them uninspired. And honestly, um, yeah, it doesn't matter because this person is like a very inspired person. they very creative, very motivated in life and shit like that. And it just didn't work, which created the tower. Or they probably just lied in general and said this person didn't, wasn't a passionate, like they wasn't a good person. You know what I mean? They're not good with money. They lack energy, shit like that. They said that about the person and shit, and they caused the tower. Um, but yeah, the tower in the upright, that represents like disasters and shit, bro. That's unexpected and sometimes catastrophic change, bro. That's, you know what I mean? But that is necessary destruction. That's the universe working things out. But it does represent broken pride, like I said, and the sudden upheaval. So it's pretty much how that shit went down. The stupid ass magic that didn't work caused that big upheaval, and they want to lie about that pretty much. We can clarify this Wheel of Fortune, then we're going to get out of here. Clarify the Wheel of Fortune in the reverse. Because that's bad karma. This person got bad karma coming towards them. Or maybe they made this King of Pose energy, which might be that that Knight of Feathers, bro, as well, bro. They probably made this person participate in some magic, bro, that didn't fucking work, bro. And that caused the tower as well, bro. Yeah, that could be that, too. It could be that, too. You know what I mean? Oh, um, yeah, this card wanna pop out. The Will of Fortune in reverse, uh, Star in reverse, bro. <laughs> I wanted to call that to the star. The star in the reverse, bro, they didn't want you to heal because that's healing. 
Uh, that's faithlessness, Aquarius energy could be have it in your chart somewhere, such and such. Um, but yeah, that's discouragement, insecurity, lost hope, feeling uninspired, dread, um, dire. Not all is lost though. So that's what they may happen. Due to all the lies and the deception, due to all the spell work that was getting done on the family, because I really felt like spell work was being done on the family as well. Yeah. Um, but yeah, we just go get a few trashes and we get another. I did not want it this long either. <laughs> Real shit. Uh, future, near future trashes for this. Yeah. I was going to say the uh, king of fucking fuck it. Yeah, no, I'm not doing all that. Spirit, goddamn. Future actions for the, uh, what's that? The Knight of fucking Feathers. What's that? Yeah. Where are you at? <laughs> Way up here. Yeah, for the Knight of Feathers energy. Future actions for this person, Spirit. We know what they want to do, bro, but we just got to see. Knight of Cups in reverse with the Six of Cups. I mean, the King of Cups in the reverse with the Six of Cups in the reverse. So, yeah, they're going to be emotionally manipulative trying to come back. Like, I literally just, like, bro, it's literally every day, bro. You know what I mean? <laughs> this person's going to try to come back being emotionally manipulative towards you, bro. Um, the King of Cups in the reverse, that's like some type of addict. Could be alcoholic, but it could be addicted to sex, drugs, whatever, bro. That's being cold. Um, that's being moody. That represents bad advice. Emotionally turbulent individual. Um... They're unpredictable, volatile, but they're a master manipulator and they twist the truth. They're kind of messy, bro. So this person's going to try to twist the truth, you know, about that, you know, about all of that. They're, they might tell you some things and not tell you all of them. They might not tell you every, anything, bro. They probably want to just move past it like nothing happened. But, I mean, the collective, bro, ain't worried about none of that shit. And most of the collective is already in some new shit. So, oh, well, right? But yeah, that represents moving forward, leaving home, independence, bro. Um, the six of cups in the reverse. Um, that's clouded judgment, though. And it's saying that people change. So maybe maybe this person has changed due to all of this shit, bro. And maybe not in a good way, though. You know what I mean? Or they could just be in an emotional turbulent type of state at that point, And they want to move forward. They probably, like, they, they want to move. Like, they're in the energy of moving already. So that's what they're going to be trying to do. But that energy with the you know being in reverse bro they're still like since their emotions are so turbulent they want to lie about the shit instead of being truthful and shit like that but it is what it is it's pretty much um few, near few drafting for the queen of pose in reverse come on y'all let's get out of here yes sir we got the three of cups in the reverse three of cups in the reverse represents overindulgence gossip this person is going to continue gossiping bro this is under um indecisive on love emotional issues a possible one night stand bro feeling disconnected um to, you know what i mean so i'm first going to keep overindulging um and in their little sex money whatever with the queen of pole being in reverse that's a very promiscuous individual that's a hoe so if you're going to keep being a hoe they might move on to the next individual they're going to keep you know doing that um but this is an emotional cycle you know what i mean um yeah and that's the energy that that person is going to be in and shit in regards to everything. But they're going to keep gossiping and shit pretty much. Because that's all they can do um, regarding whatever's. Uh, we also had the four of cups in reverse coming out. So the most instability, travel, change of home, sudden awareness. You know what I mean? Choose a happiness, acceptance. I feel like that's what um, this king of cups in the reverse is probably going to be on. Because I feel like they're just very emotionally turbulent. They don't know what to do because they did betray you and shit. But they... You know, trying to figure all that out. I feel like it's more pointing towards that and everything like that. But, I mean, that's on that person, bro. Um, yeah, it's a lot of bad karma over this reading. Um, yeah. So, yeah. <laughs> bad karma, bro. Boy. All right. Uh, outcome, spirit. Spirit, please give me the outcome. We're going to get out of here. Outcome for the situation, Spirit. Let's go. We have the five of cups in the upright, and then we have the page of feathers in the upright as well. Um, the page of feathers could definitely be going on this uh 
somebody. Let's see. The Phantom Fellas is um that represents curiosity, restlessness, mental energy. That's someone that's eager to learn. Um, potential for greatness. This is beginning new intellectual pursuits. And then you have the fucking five of cups in the upright, and that represents loss, grief, despair. This is some type of death. Um, this represents jealousy, sadness. Um, yeah, it could be a death of finances or some shit like that. It represents self-pity, uh, someone that's experienced setback and they're remorseful. So um, they're going to be feeling that over the fact that you're doing this, uh, you know, your creative endeavors and shit. I could definitely see that. Um, but they're going to be feeling the loss, grief, despair um, regarding that. And that's pretty much that. Yeah. But it is what it is, you feel me? It is what it is. Um, you got the two of cups in the upright coming out. They're gonna be feeling lost grief in the spirit over um, over a business partnership possibly. You know, that's balancing money, bro. They're balancing decisions, adapting to the change and shit. It's a change in relationship. So like I said, if you're not in like some new shit you're gonna be, you know, clarify that too real quick. Good. Clarify that too. You got the uh, six of cups. I mean, six of uh, pentacles in the upright. Clarifying the two of pentacles in the upright. Six of cups. Mm. That represents giving or receiving money, a pay raise, obtaining resources, charity, um, generosity, and sharing. So you might be receiving some type of, you know, charity donation uh, through this. This is somebody giving you money, um, some type of charity and shit. And, you know, this is a business partnership, though. So, or you could be able to balance your money after this situation due to that. Clarify the four. Yeah, no, the six in the upright spirit. The six of the pentacles in the upright. Clarify that, please, before we get out of here. Ooh. Clarify the uh, four of pentacles. I mean, the six. I'm sorry. I don't know why I keep saying that. Clarify the six of pentacles in the upright spirit. Please give me that clear precise message. I should have asked who's giving the charity, but yeah. Besides messages, please clarify that six. Yeah. Okay, we got the four swords in our right. Um, that represents fucking um recovery, forgiveness, moving on. Oh no, that's the reverse. I'm so sorry, guys. I don't that represents oh yeah, yeah, recovery, recuperation, <laughs> contemplation, solitude, a timeout, rest from action and shit, restoration. So um with that you're gonna be able to, you know, rest and shit like that. But it's coming from a knight of jump. So a knight of jump wants to work with you. I feel like that's the energy of the king of pots in the reverse, to be honest with you, bro. Um, that person, uh, of course, they don't have much, but they, they want to go on this uh, journey and shit, possibly to, you know, help. Like I said, this is future energy, future actions and shit. So this person is going to be futurely, not futurely, what the fuck, in the future, they're gonna, uh, of course, be a night of jump, but they want to come collaborate. They probably want to give you or share with you some type of whatever. I don't know. Um, <laughs> but they're gonna be in the night of cups energy, so they're gonna be feeling a little emotionally better from the emotionally turbulent place that they are at the moment. Shit like that. Um, uh, wanting to come towards you. This is an admirer, so they're definitely admiring you. They just have night type of energy, though. They're immature. Um, uh, 50, 353 when I said that, and they're in the picture pose energy. Uh, right so definitely they uh possibly you know want to have in a like an affair with you type shit um you know they want to fuck whatever they but they want forgiveness and they want to be romantic towards you and everything like that but they need to you know get in the night of pose energy and i mean not night but the page of pose energy you know and go for it type shit like at the end of the day bro um We'll just see where that shit goes, you know what I mean? Uh, at the bottom of the deck, we got the Page of Cups. So, the person wants to have a child with you. They're a little childish, but they want to go for it and shit like that, bro. 
But is there any last messages you want to collect in the no spirit before we get out of here? We had the devil in the reverse. Um, that represents freedom release, restoring control, confronting the demons. So this person could be an energy of that, or you yourself could be doing that. Yeah, you know I mean, in your own life, and you know, this is freedom though. So some breaking free and all that shit. But you also have the ten of swords in the reverse. Ten of swords in the reverse represents that new beginning, bro. This is an inevitable end, only up from here, bro. And. <laughs> At the bottom with that, bro, there's a Ten of Pentacles. Um, that's that great wealth, family, property, inheritance. Change your finances for the better, so that's what you're going to be able to do. Um, we're going to clarify that real quick. Clarify the Ten of Pentacles. It's just a bunch of completion, man. I don't even feel like I need to do all that, but it is what it is, bro. It is what the fuck it is. I don't really need to do all of that. The way that I'm seeing it is you're going to be able to move forward. I love y'all so much. <laughs> Peace.